I'm not gonna make any, she got it. And one of her toes is hurt. This song just says this, we will fight and we will win. We speak victory. We are overcome by the blood of the Lamb. No longer defeated. We're winners
the top, one more time. We will fight. We will fight. Come on. And we will win. We speak victory. We speak victory to every trial we live. We are overcomers. We are overcomers by the blood yeah. of the Lamb. No longer defeated. No longer defeated. We're winners now. I want you to say it like you know. One more time. We will fight. We will fight. And we will win. And we will win. We speak victory. We, we speak victory to every trial we live. Come on. We are overcomers. We are overcomers. By the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. No longer defeated. No longer defeated. We're winners. your neighbor, we will win. Our requirements is what Bishop Walter Hawkins wrote. Don't wait till the battle is over. Shout now. You know in the end, she got it. You're going to win. Now Amos, for the next 90 seconds, I want this church to dance on what you know. Okay. All right, because I know it's all working. I'm not getting ready to live the rest of my life as if I may win. I'm not getting ready to play a guessing game with my life. I know at the end I win. Musicians, I want y'all to crank it up. I want that track to cut up. I want that organ to be cut up. I don't want you to praise God as if you feel like he's going to let you win. I want you to praise him because you know that even now, in a seemingly defeated situation, you're coming out with your hands up. That even if it looks like I lost, I'm coming out with my hands up. And so I want you to find you a spot that you can praise God at. Because I know we win. Some of y'all, you, you got, I have a doctor's appointment I got to set. But I'm looking for good news by the time I get there. I'm looking for him to say some things have shifted since the last time we talked. That by the time I talk to my doctor... It's going to be a, huh? Somebody shout good news. Now for those of y'all who don't need it, I ain't talking to you, but I need some people to put it into the atmosphere. Somebody shout good news. Now I'm going to give you 90 seconds. I want you to dance. Every winner in this house that know you're a winner, you got 90 seconds to pray. Let's go. One, two, one, two, three. Let's go, let's go.
remembered me when I forgot him. All right. I said he remembered me. When I didn't want to praise him. When I didn't want to come to church. When my attitude was piss poor. He looked beyond my thoughts. Met me at my point of need. But the Lord is good. God knows I ain't good. And in my flesh, God ain't no good thing, but he's good. us today I'm shouting because he let us live he let us live he let us live then on my worst day he was a great God I said on my worst day was a great God still. Somebody needs to know today he's still God. That no matter what it looks like now, he's still God. And as the choir was singing, he can handle it. That's a fact. No matter how great or small, he's the master. Put it all in his hands. It's better in his hands than it is in mine. And I turned it over to the Lord. He worked it out. There's some stuff this week. I'm thanking him <clears throat> that he's going to disclose to me that it's already been worked out. He's not going to do it this week. It's already done. He's just going to reveal to me this week that it's been handled, not it's being handled. I don't think they heard me, Jamel. We gotta stop telling people it's being handled. No, it's been handled. You just don't know about it yet. See, my next dance is what he's getting ready to share with me what I didn't know. So the stuff I'm, 
The stuff I'm praying over, it's been handled already. He just haven't disclosed it to me yet. Tell somebody, tell me, you're getting ready to see what he already took care of. He's getting ready to show you what's already been settled. Chris, go on and help him. I, I see. That's, that's a good place to praise him. I'm dancing on that. It's already been resolved. Chris, help her out. Help, help. What was going on today?
stay right there, Marcus. Um, as I close today, I want to thank God. <clears throat> I want to thank God for the ravens that fed me when I had no other resources. For some of y'all who know the Bible, you get ready to have a Baptist fit. Because when I had no other resources, he fed me from dirty atmospheres. Ravens are dirty birds. They're scavengers. They neglect their own. But God commanded something dirty to bring me something clean. Then when I didn't have nothing to co-depend on, to be co-dependent upon, he commanded meals every day. My testimony is I've never went hungry one day. I want to thank God he's been feeding me every day. You won't understand it until you was down to your last nothing and didn't know where your next meal was coming from and God sent one. I'll tell you when your checking and savings were gone but yet all your bills were paid and your needs were met and you still went shopping and still went vacationing because he sent Raven. Y'all don't know that kind of, okay. It wasn't a lot of water, but it was enough to quench my thirst. That even in the famine, I still had a little flow happening. Yeah, y'all don't know that. See, people look at you. I ain't always been this blessed. I've seen him be a great God at my lowest because he was teaching me to never depend on what I gave you. Always depend on me. So I stripped you so that you could trust me more. I've been there where everything was dry but him. Okay, all right. get the short end of the stick he was making you that he wasn't trying to kill you he was trying to cut you he was grooming us for greatness but he had to let us cry he let us suffer in need and people who could help you he never allowed them to call you I said he never allowed them to, it wasn't they fault was cutting you. Don't depend on him, trust me. How about, how about this? He wouldn't allow you to call them either. He had the teeth. Oh, watch it, Lisa. Watch it, Lisa. Pain in your body and you're praying for others. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Spending money you don't have. I, I know. I, yeah. Huh? But yet and still, he took care of you and your family. You and your children. You and your husband, you and your wife. 
You're still in the same house you thought you were going to lose. Okay. Because you send ravens day and night. Say this before I sit down and Amos, you could somebody can come dismiss. I uh Stormy, can I tell you a testimony? All right, let me come down just a minute. Stay right there. Uh I want to say this to this church. I'm not gonna preach what I was because I'm 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 under the direction of the Holy Spirit. But I want to share this to this church. And the Bible says, I'm in 1 Kings 17, if you didn't know already. The Bible said that there came a time when the, when the brook dried up. <laughs> Took somebody to tell them, it has to. Okay, you don't want that? Okay, maybe tomorrow. I want to prophesy to y'all. Some of y'all, this is for mature audience only. It's getting ready to get dry. Some of y'all, see, you don't want to receive that. But if you, if you, if you trust me, I'm going to tell you why. Because it's called a providential stop. Hear me, Nigel. That if I stop this, that means I'm getting ready to start this. Which means I'm changing your course, but I'm also changing how you're being provided for. So before this year is out, some of y'all are coming to a complete dry spot. That means that place has been accomplished. He's getting ready to do something new in you. Can I handle it? Okay. Uh, that he's moving you from cutting to refinement. That this is bigger than money. It's getting the stuff that attached itself to you that was impure to bring the best out of you. But in order for that to happen, he's got to dry this by the so he can refine you more so that you can be ready. The ravers were good for a season, but that ain't where we gonna stay. Next is coming, but you gotta say goodbye to where you are now. It's a providential stop. And he ain't grooming us for convenience. Okay. All right. All right. I'm not calling you to be comfortable. I'm going to upset you. And I'm going to, like an like a, like a eagle, stirs the nest, which means I make the nest uncomfortable so that you can fly. that your next stop is a providential one for a new start. Tell somebody and tell them, welcome to your new beginning. And here it is, the new beginning, he's already ordained it to sustain you. See, going somewhere where there's no provision, that ain't God. He ain't sending you nowhere where he had not already commanded it to take care of you. We got to stop. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. No. No, sorry. That ain't how that works. The provision has already been set up. You just got to move into next. Oh, let me close with this story. So I get a call, wave your hand cap. I don't think y'all know this unless you, unless you, that you talk to her. Her living arrangements 
where, where her and her family reside. Yes, I can tell it. I can tell it. Okay. I, you know, I'm going to ask first. I don't know if you ever been there, but they sold the house where she was living at right from up under her. <laughs> Let me go and sit down. Y'all don't want to Just when you thought everything was good, because you know it takes a while to get settled in one house. Now I got to relocate. I just got settled. Furniture's right in place. All the dishes and the pictures and everything is settled. I'm settled. I'm going to be here for a while. And God said, no, you're not. What do you do when you've gotten settled and God said, uh-uh? That if I wanted you to be good, I would have never introduced you to greater. Sold this woman's house from right up under. And by the time they told her, she only had a few days to get out. Because the house had been sold. There is no backup plan. I'm about to have a whole Baptist fit. <laughs> there is no backup plan. Not with a house like that. If you know Storm, it's, it's all, all flesh. Every arrogant furniture she could purchase is in that house. And now she got to pack all of that stuff up. Well, let me tell you, let me talk to you. <laughs> Michelle said, yes, she did. Well, let me tell you how good God is, Reggie. Somebody called her and says, go look at this house. Am I lying? Now, I see why y'all not shouting because people don't call you and tell you to go find a house. That's your job. She told her, put an application in and call me and let me know when it's done. I'm going to pull it. See, why are you worried about not having a home? He's already provided one. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. But see, you won't understand this testimony until you've been in a scare of being homeless. And Cam, I don't want to stay with nobody. I don't even want to ask, can I live with you? That's not how I'm wrapped. I'm not wired to live with nobody. Because once you've been on your own, you don't want to go back. It's just like, once you get your own car, I really don't want to ride with you. I appreciate it, but I'll Uber. At least I know I ain't got to stay here. I'll Uber before I call you. Of course, I swallow your pride. This, this is different than pride. I'm talking about... When you're used to just depending on God and you know how to handle business, I shall say stand on business. And when and now you're messing with my character and my mindset, and I, I'm wired a certain way. I, I do it a certain way. And now God is developing me in a way I don't really like. I don't like the way God is taking me, but I gotta trust Him. got to get me to unloosen so I can trust him. Not even 72 hours after she got her application in. Now here's the other part. When they called her, she had to get up. See, somehow you missed your blessing because you didn't move. Doors don't stay open. They swing open. You can't be, you can't be so downtrodden about what happened to where you don't get up to look at what's getting ready to happen. Somebody tell them, stand still and look up. Yeesh. God is going to show up. Okay, all right. Oh, oh y'all got a testimony too. I forgot about that. Because they sold their house too. I, they, matter of fact, their residence was condemned. Right? And they were going to make them pay for something that they didn't do. Okay, don't. But God worked it out and cleared their name and the damage. 
there's some damage you didn't make that you didn't do but you almost had to pay for it and God cleared that am I lying okay cause okay I don't lie to Saturday but back to Stormy not even 72 hours after my mother told me I told my mother the house is hers I ain't even talked to her I said the house is hers she don't know it yet I got settled in Dallas, Texas, and Cap called me crying and said, uh, Pass, I got the house. I said, I knew that. Because I'm sorry, I'm in a place where I ain't finna sit up here and cry about what he can handle. Either I'm gonna trust him or I'm gonna get out of salvation. I'm gonna get out of this Christian though. If I ain't gonna trust him, let's go and sit down. Cause I'm play, I'm, we playing church. I ain't got time to play church. Either I'm gonna trust him or I'm gonna quit playing with y'all. Now here's the next thing. She had to have a whole lot of money for the deposit. Now I just told y'all they sold the house from up under her. I ain't got no money. All of us in the house that I thought I was, I was, I was gonna keep. I ain't, I ain't got time for another investment. Am I lying? Let me tell you what they told her. We'll work with you. I wanna prophesy to this church that you get ready to hear these words. We'll work with you. And she's getting ready to move soon. Oh, she get ready to move tomorrow. Now, I see why y'all not shouting because she was supposed to be out of that house two months ago. God will keep you when you should have been gone. Okay, don't. The blessings of the Lord make it rich and adds no sorrow. She was supposed to have been gone, but tomorrow they'll get their request. You wanted me gone and I am. Because my next testimony is, I got somewhere to go. I'll never be homeless. As long as God is rocking with me, I'll never be. The righteous will never be forsaken. See, will never beg for bread. I said all that. That was my sermon. If you don't like it, God bless you. That everybody in here, you can really have a neck your a providential stop. That if I stop this one area, he's not. I told I told Stormy, he wasn't shocked that that they sold your house because the next one was already in his schedule. See why you shouting about what came to an end? You ought to be shouting about what's getting ready to come to a beginning. You know, aloha, it's, it doesn't just mean goodbye, it also means hello. And he told Elijah, I've, I've, already, I've already commanded your next place to sustain you. Tell somebody, tell me, your next place comes with provision. Okay, that, that's it. So congratulations. Congratulations. Y'all moved too, then y'all already moved. They just moved. There is no secret to what God can do. What he's done for others, he'll do for you. Tell somebody, tell it's coming to a stop. That's because your next is now. All right, God bless you. That he's already prepared your next. You just got to get out of now. All right. Right. God bless you. God bless you. I'm thanking God for my stops because it wasn't a stay. That by the time Stormy could cry about the house that got sold, it was another one already available. I want you to prophesy in your, in your, in your atmosphere, it's already available. All right, let's, I'm done. And those that are watching, trust God. Trust God. You do what you can do and God will do what you can't. I'm done. God bless you.
God bless you. Somebody need to know that this morning he'll always come through. He'll always come through. Let's move on. We, we, we doing good on time. It's time to go because we stay here any longer. These chairs is, is, is going another way. But I serve a God who is still able. Hallelujah. Let's give and go. next place has already been prepared. to come every Sunday and still doubt him. He's a he's an able God. I know it is, I know it's not just me. There are more people that can sow than see the 100 dollars today. I want you to get it. I'm done. Uh, this is not what I was gonna talk about but we went another way and I'm okay with it. He's a God of providential stuff. If it's stopped, that means he's getting something else started. There's a new beginning. Shh. Yeah, it came to an end, but some things can't arrive until some things take exit. God is in it, I'll dance through it. Now, Father, thank you for three things. Increase, overflow, surplus. I also want to thank you for sustaining. That if you don't increase, if you don't give overflow, if you don't give surplus, you will sustain where we are. That even if we don't run uh, run over, we won't run out. And we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, Amen. Those who are gonna sow that seed of one hundred, I want you to I want you to sow it now. Listen, it doesn't cost to do church. We can shout outside. It does cost to do ministry. I need us to be even more conscious and serious about our giving. This is the way out. We can dance all day, but let me tell you where the increase is going to come in at. The principle of giving. He gives seed to the sower. That's it. You can't dance your way into it. He gives seed to the sower. You ain't going to see no farmer go outside and dance in the dirt. They can. It will yield nothing. Thank you. You have to sow. A farmer has to put seed in the ground. There has to be seed in the ground. And 
today I'm trusting you that you will put seed in the ground. Thank you, Jesus. Those that don't have 100, I want you to get 50. There's more than enough people in this church for us to meet budget today, and I know it's going to happen. I've been through so many providential stops, and I said, Lord, why did this have to come to an end? Because I'm trying to show you another route. And can I tell you, every route he's taken me, I have not complained. The next course was always better than the last one. This next course is going to be even greater for you. You don't believe me? Check the results. Those are going to show 50. I want you to, come on, let's go. I got to let you go. It's 853. We did good today. Those who sow in 100, those who sow in 50, I want you to come from wherever you are. Those who sow in 20, let's go, let's go. Let's go. so much. Those that are tuning in via Facebook or YouTube, I want you to show with us, those that can and will. Thank you for joining us for our 730 worship experience. We win. Let's go, Chris. All that I need. All that I need. Stay with us, Sean. That I need. <laughs> God will supply.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody is getting ready to see the provision of God in a way you've never seen it before. I sense it in my spirit. Especially to those who've been faithful over a few things. You'll make your ruler over many. God bless you. 